While hanging on that cross, Jesus said several things. But when the thief taunted him and said, If you be the Christ, come down from the cross and save yourself and us. To that taunt, Jesus never said a mumbling word. But the silence seemed to have said, you just wait until Sunday morning. And I'll show you, I'll show you that it's better to come up out of a grave than it is to come down from a cross. And he dropped his head in the locks of his shoulder and he died. I mean, he really died. Don't pay attention to a swoon theory. He died. Whoa, oh, he He died until the sun refused to shine. He died until the veil in the temple was rent in twain. He died until, Matthew said, the dead got up out of the grave and walked the streets after the resurrection. He died. The centurion says, surely this must have been the son of God. I'm trying to say he died, but I don't like it. I don't like to, I don't like to stay there talking about he died. I, I like to rush on and say he was buried in Joseph's new tomb. He was buried in a borrowed tomb. Now that used to bother me. The one who holds the waters in the hollow of his hand and meets out the heavens with a span comprehends the dust and weighs the mountains and the scale and the heel and the balance. The one who walked on the brow of nothing and with a gesture of his hands words were formed. Scooped out the seas with the palm of his hand, dug deep the gorges, piled up the hills and propped up the mountains by his will. The moon and stars lean on his arm. Being buried in a bar or two. Well, he wasn't going to stay there long, so it started to look at Yes! He just went down in that grave and stayed in the grave long enough to clean it out and make it a pleasant place to wait for the resurrection.